Today we'll be cannulating Artograft for the BCA graft, which is a natural, non-antigenic collagen vascular graft. First, we are going to do the one minute check. You want to look for any changes in the extremity, fingertips to shoulder, or toes to groin. Check the skin integrity and see if there's any bruising or development of a hematoma. You want to check for steel syndrome or any discoloration, cold or blue fingers. Lastly, look to check the surgical incision to make sure it is still intact and free of infection. Post-surgical edema or swelling must subside prior to cannulation. You listen for a normal, low-pitched, and continuous swishing sound. This is called the brewy. Make sure there are no abnormal sounds with increased pitch or a whistle-like sound. Lastly, you feel for a normal purring and vibration. This is called the thrill. But be abnormal to have no sensation or pulsation. When cannulating autograph, you must follow clean technique Kodoki guidelines throughout the treatment and follow manufacturer instructions and physician orders for cannulation. A mask should be worn throughout the treatment and you must properly isolate and prep the area moving from the center outward with a proper antibacterial solution and mechanical action for an adequate period of time using gloves and sponges. Clean gloves must be worn by anyone coming into contact with the area or the lines for any reason during the treatment. It should be easy to feel the pulse or thrill and hear the blood flow or brewy with a stethoscope. Artograft is accessed in the same manner as a native fistula. Needles are inserted at a 25 to 30 degree angle, similar to drawing blood or accessing a native fistula. They should not push too hard or deep, careful not to infiltrate the graft. Typically, the first cannulation is done with a 17 gauge needle and over time enlarged to a 15 gauge needle. Never use clamps, straps, or compression devices such as blood pressure cuffs or tourniquets on the graft. If the graft is not easily distended, you may utilize a tourniquet above the graft, careful not to place on the graft. Tourniquets must be completely removed once needles are placed. Also be sure to rotate your needle sites using the rope and ladder site rotation plan. Each treatment so your graft will last longer. Once cannulation needles are in the graft, secure to prevent dislodgement during the treatment and continue as directed by dialysis center personnel. Post cannulation instructions are as follows. Once the dialysis treatment is complete, the needles will be removed one at a time. Only light finger pressure on sterile gauze should be utilized on the puncture sites. Avoid compression dressings and clamps post needle removal. Prolonged bleeding greater than the patient's normal time to hemostasis may be a sign of outflow stenosis. Once the bleeding has stopped, you may finish your discharge as directed by dialysis personnel.